hey hello everyone in previous video we saw that how we can do the authentication using powershell to azure and how to select the subscription in this video we are going to see how we can create the resource group okay so this is our previous uh powershell script where i'm just using this connect iphone easy account to authenticate and then subscription so let me quickly select my subscription over there i am just copying this subscription id and i will use that and let me save this file and in this console i have already authenticated that and uh, let me just run this command again but in this case i am just uh, commenting out this particular connect iphone easy account because i have already authenticated but the my account have uh, multiple subscription so i'm just using this particular subscription make sure that i'm just working inside this particular subscription so let me run this authentication.json file again yes the subscription has been successfully selected and now i'm just creating another file called resource group dot ps1 and in this resource group i'm just using uh, there's only one command to create the resource group and this is the command new iphone is a resource group so you can use this command and these are the these are all the parameters syntax the mandatory parameters are name and location so you need to provide that name and location and if you want to just uh, know what are your locations are so on this particular console you can just type get hyphen az location and it will just give you the list of the location that you want and you just want to pull out this particular location detail and you don't want this uh, display name and provider so you can just simply use select hyphen object and then that particular header location so i'm just using this select iphone object another command and uh, i'm using that after this pipeline and this is the header so this is the this header is nothing but this one so if you want display name you can just use display name want i just want location so i'm just using location let me hit enter and these are the available locations in my subscription so i'm just going and i will just use this particular subscription is us so let me quickly go to the script pane and here i will use this particular command called new hyphen az resource group and then the parameter that is a name and i'm just giving name in double quote because we need a string and how to know that you can just go to this particular article uh new iphone easy resource group and here if you just scroll down to this name parameter you see that the type of that particular parameter is string so you need to provide string over there so that's why i'm using double quote and i'm just using this test name powershell rg and after that i'm using another parameter called location and i will use this east us location okay that's it i am not using anything else so let me first clear the screen and let me save this particular file and if i go back to the azure portal you see there are only three resource group are available and let me run this particular file resource group dot ps1 and you can see it's pretty much fast and the resource group has been created successfully so if i go back to the portal and click on the refresh and here you go the powershell rg resource group has been created successfully and this is the resource id so in case you you are creating a resource group and you want to store that resource group details or resource id or that particular name you can just use variable before this command and once that resource group is created uh, it will store this particular output 
in that variable and then you can use that variable later in your script we will see that in upcoming video but this is for now this is how you can just create the resource group in azure just go ahead and do the practice and we'll see you in the next video